So every perennial is in a different bed. So I have um, four beds per line and five rows. So I've got 20 beds, each with a different perennial in it. So asparagus, rhubarb, uh, turmeric, um, perennial leeks, perennial spring onions, perennial onions, potatoes, rhubarb, sweet potato, American groundnut, lots of perennials. <laughs> so it's, um, I'm hoping that one day I'll come up here and pick my whole meal from my perennial garden. Because it's all on contour, uh, I planted comfrey on the, and other barrier plants so that any, any, um, if I want to have, I want to do more mulch, I just pull off my comfrey and put it on the garden bed. So that's all. That's all the the the, uh, the, uh, the sides of the garden. Oh. I did do. Sure. Yeah. Well, I, what I combined was compost, uh, a bit of straw, and wood chip into a mulch. Of course, um, I think shade is one of the critical elements now in gardening down here. It probably doesn't apply in Europe, or. Um, more like we need sun. Sorry? We need more we need sun. More sun. <laughs> and in London, but having some shade from the trees is going to be important here, I think. So. You've got to be more particular about the bed preparation for perennials. But ultimately, it's the same process. I broad fork these beds and then nothing. Because perennial plants have much deeper roots, the roots will do the work for you as well. So this is all experimental. Um, in there, there is uh, um, Jerusalem artichoke, and this is um, yarkon. This is a kale plant that grows about three or four meters high, <laughs> and it's perennial. Um, I don't eat it myself, although you can, but the bugs get into it a lot. But I feed this to the chickens. It would certainly feed two people, but perennials only come on typically in spring. So they're an occasional treat. I don't know that you could have a complete diet from perennials all year round. But asparagus will last 20 or 25 years as a plant. So I get a big harvest for three months of the year and I don't have to do anything more for 25 years. I and mean, that's an ideal vegetable, yeah?